All right, guys, here we are today at Pacific Golf Club at Carindale. Yep. Now, this has had an amazing history. This has been in two places, hasn't it? Yeah. Yep. Pacific has been around for a while now, since like the 1930s, yep. and uh, it's had two places. This is the place that it's been here for most of its time. Yep. It did have a Pacific Golf Club was somewhere over the road of a little bit away from here. But yep. anyway, guys, Pacific. Paul Hazlitt, thanks for letting us film. Mark Victorson, yep. thanks for letting us film. John Hemstock, thanks for letting us film. Um, we were out here maybe a year ago. Yeah, I think it was probably yeah. just under a year ago, just over a year ago. We haven't done the drone stuff here. We were here with James and we were here with Softy. Softy, yes. And there was a nice chip in on 16 from Jimmy. He's giving it the old with. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, he played pretty well that day, didn't he? He did, yeah. So yeah. I think he played really well around the back. Yep. I, I think I played okay around the front. Yep. Yep. But this is my nemesis golf course. I just yep. don't yep. play well here. So hopefully we'll have a good talk about it. And some of the we'll go through holes the holes, and, yeah. Yeah, yep. So yep. it's just the two of us. And you'll see a bit of drone work this time. We didn't have that last time. Cor so. Correct. So we're going to talk about, I'm going to play off the back markers. Rich is going to play off the social markers again. It just shows different parts of the course and the differences in lengths. There's a par three back up there, it's like 200 plus. Yeah. I think down the socials, 170 odd meters. Yeah, so. and, and that's the idea is to show those two different lengths. Otherwise, you're just showing something. Same thing. Time, we're, but... we're trying to get as much yep. diversity as possible. Yep. Guys, Pacific Golf Club, just the two of us, stroke play. Beautiful day. It's Plenty of people out here. Heaps of people out here. Yeah, we yeah. did have some rain last night. I couldn't tell you how much. Uh, maybe 15 mil. I know at home we had a, yeah, about 10 or 11. It was a big storm, but it just sort of blew into nothing. But exactly, and here we are. The sun's come out now, and it's uh, beautiful. It's warm and steamy. It is steamy. Let's have a crack, guys. Beautiful. Let's rip in. Rip in. First hole, par five. First hole, par five. Five. 530 meters downhill, moving to the right. So. There's basically trees out there at 300 straight ahead, which I'm going to just kind of hit at, even slide down the left, and it should be fine. Um, but it moves around to the right. I, I'm, it, it's, it's a three-shotter. I, I don't think there's probably that many people that have been able to get here in two, unless you're kind of downwind yeah. for your second shot. So we're playing stroke, Richard. Yep. I was saying last time we went through that. Yeah, gap there's, a, there's a gap there. there, James did. So you can hit it down the 18th. If you wanted to, but yeah, I, I want to try to play decent golf because I've never played well here. So beautiful. That's all I want to do is play decent golf. So that's straight down those two trees, Richo. Yep. I don't quite see it after it goes past that little hill. Yep. But looks and. Oh. Looks all right. We'll take that for the first swing of the day. That'll That's be good. It. But like I said, I'll probably be hitting like a five iron and then maybe another wedge in. So keep it down the middle. That's it. Stephen. Here we go. All right, here straight we go. Down there. Straight down there. So straight at that tree. Literally, if you can hit straight down there from where I was, those two trees were like 290 meters. So basically, at that, lay up for your next shot, and then off we go. But clubhouse in the background, pro shop up where those buggies are. Uh, there is actually putting green just at the top near there and there's actually a par 3 golf course which if we can get to late the Savo we might try to do that so it's basically 12 o'clock now it's basically midday so Rich has got the Triton oh, that's fading a little bit but that should be fine Should be fine. Good shot. So we've marked around the Triton. We have. And we've chosen the carbon sole plate with the weight in the toe. Yes. And in set up one if we're a nine degree head. Yep. Um, Just potentially on standard. In not on a draw. stiff. Yeah. Is so, it? so sorry, one degree up. One standard, degree up standard. Rather than the draw. Yeah. We found it just wanted to duck dive a bit, didn't it? Well, you were miss striking it way yeah. toey. So. So it's still a little bit out. That's of all right. But it's the first one of the day. Triton. It's going all right. Interesting thing. Yep. All right, so guys, that's the 18th fairway running up the hill up here. So we've come back. You can see that hill. It's a long, long way down there. Now, Richo's here. I think he could have almost outdriven me. I'm no, over not here. Quite. Not quite? On the angle? Well, I did hit a drive rather than... True. And I was teased back. But we're back into a little bit of breeze. That's where we've got to go. It's... We can't get there. So probably should have 100 left in after Richo hits this. 
That is just on the right, it should be fine. Oh. What'd that hit? Great middle of the Oh, did it come back in? Yeah. So, what do you reckon you got in, mate? Uh, 287 from back up the hill there, where the cart is. Up. Yep, so, so still 270. High 270s, I got five iron, hopefully leave like 100, 110 in. Yep. Maybe a gap wedge or something like that in. Yep. Back into the window. But you see, it's very tight down there. I got a little bit of mud Look, on me ball. A, a tough little par five to start with, isn't it? Well, you just got to hit a couple of good shots and get away with par, really, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Good shot. Like that. Yep. So that might be left with maybe 120 or so in. Yep. But that will do. Certainly with some uh, water there and... It... Well, yeah, you can't hit it too far right off the tee, so if I hit it, the club here and yep. flat it way right, that's in the water. Yep. So if you want to hit it, you hit it down at those trees, they were 300. Those trees together there, 300 to get there. So you can hit drive it down there, but if you flat it at all right... All right, Richard, how far we got? 119. 119 there, I'm just a bit yeah. further forward. So Richard must have hit this tree here somewhere. Yeah, I think I'll just put that tree and bounce into here. What do you got, wedge? I've got an eight. I'm thinking maybe not. Um, geez, you've had you've had 30 minutes to think about it. <laughs> um, 120 meters. Um, anyway, we've come back from down there, so I reckon we're slightly back into the breeze. I reckon it's playing 130 maybe. Nine. Nine. I reckon that's it. You don't need to hit any more than that. Of a slight down slope, so I'm a little bit further forward. Like I said, didn't quite hit mine that well. I hit it fine. I've probably got 110 or so in. We'll take it. See, the ball below your feet a little bit there it was a bit hard to hit, wasn't it? Yeah. It is. I reckon distance was distance not I too bad. Right, I just didn't finish it off. Yeah, just not closing enough. Just hanging it out there a bit. It's 111, Richo. 111? So I'm using the new Pro V1X, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because I used it when we had to hit the Virginia, I used it on that Friday. So yep. it feels all right. Like I said, it's a gaming golf ball. For me, it's. A little softer than the previous one. Yep. Spins plenty, so. We well, hit the ball uh, pretty good down there that day. Friday. See, I wish all that stuff was on camera, but <laughs> it's all my crap rounds go on camera. Uh, 111, so 50 degrees, and like a three, oh, like an 80% swing. Oh, that's just tugged a little bit to the left. Yep. So, I don't know if there's any green behind that or not, but just hit a little tiny tug. Yeah. Alright guys, so that's where we've come from, literally way up the hill up there. Now, the greens have been dusted, or they've been at least renovated a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that's the time of the year here. Everything's kind of getting done at about now, that could be good. We copped a little bit of a bad kick to the camera's right, Richo. Geez, that's still quick. We haven't had a putt yet, so mine's kicked over to here. But yeah, so the greens have been done. Uh, it looks like they're rolling really good with plenty of pace, so... It's just that time of year, isn't it, Richo? Yeah, yep. Rightio, it was right length, mate. Yeah, distance wasn't too bad, just yep. a tad tuggy. Um, but yours look quick. So... I don't know how fast. Being a little bit soft because like even that got further than I expected. So beautiful. Yeah, even even that one got a little bit further than I expected. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the 10 handicapper. Which, what do you actually do you know what you'd play off here? 10 or 11 probably. Yeah. So it looks like it's gonna probably move a little bit to the camera's right. Probably left edge maybe. Started where I thought, just not, not hit enough. That's all right, but again, like it, <laughs> it's it's tough because we haven't had a putt, and yeah, yeah. they right. they look kind of slow, but I think they're reasonably quick because yours ran on heaps. That chip. Yeah, the chip ran on. Yeah. And there you go. First hole. Look at it. It's pretty tight back down That's there. All right. Three thirty-nine, Richo. Around to the left. Yep. Dog looks pretty sharp, doesn't it? It's a yeah. It moves a decent amount left around those bunkers so the green itself yep. 
You just need to get up onto that plateau. You just need to get up on the flat. I'm going to hit driver just because I, I want to. So I'm hitting the sub zero just because I, I want to. Yeah, I'm a bit further down. I'm oh, mate. Probably it's really, for me, it's just on a hybrid up there, yeah. have 130 or 40 in and be done with it. Yep. It's literally it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hit driver. There's bunkers down the left and then it moves hard left. So if you can yeah. have a kind of look, that's where the green is literally out of yeah, there. Through there. But like you said, there is some bunkers right on that corner there, isn't it? Yeah, correct. So you can potentially draw it into there. Yeah. Yep. That is just over the bunkers. Yeah, I don't think we'll see that down because it's sort of gone behind those trees now. That's um. I think that's a good shot. I think that should be in a good spot. Like, yeah. and if it didn't run out of fairway, that should be really, really good. Yep. What right. do we got? So, I'm going to go hybrid, unlike Al, because I am a bit further up. Yeah. So, I'm just trying to get up on the flat. Yeah, see, there's I'm plenty of... I'm not trying to bend it round. It's flat there. The Mine come over the edge of that bunker there. Yeah, I'm basically going to aim for that, the big, the clump of trees. Yeah, I reckon you're about 20 metres right of the bunker. All you gotta hit it's pretty yeah, it's a it's a good hole because you can hit whatever you want. Oh that's a draw. <laughs> oh that looks so good on the shot tracer, hey? That is That's pretty well where I want to go. That's perfect. Yep. Great shot. So we got 110 meters return, we've come back from down there. Yep. Again, my nemesis golf course, hopefully gonna play well. I've yep. hit three good shots, so <laughs> and you've hit Maybe the best hybrid I've ever seen you hit. Um, I've started to hit the hybrid pretty good. So you got 110 in up there now. Yep. And this is exactly where I want to be. Oh yeah, just, like you're in line with that bunker. As long as you're up on the, the flat. All right, show me, you got wedge. I yep. think wind is, it's not hurting anyway. Oh, see, that's, yeah, just aiming a bit out there as well. Le bunker. You won't be happy with that. Hanging a bit to the right. Yeah, because they're starting where you're aiming and they're just kind of fading a tad. So you need to tad further left and swing it. Don't try to hit a draw like you did that driver. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, I'm just up there. Yeah. Right, what do you got here, mate? 74 metres. Beautiful. I've got 58. Yeah, good drive up there. Thanks. Uh, you can take it further and further left. So the line we've come on, I've hit it straight over the bunker basically to end up here. Yep. You can take it another 30 metres left. Yeah, there's a bit of room to play with, isn't it? But if you hit it left, left, it's dead really, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. 74 metres back into the wind, um, 58. Now, probably playing it close enough to uh, 80. right over it. Yep, right over the top of it. Good shot. I'll take it. It was a little bit flat, probably hit a little bit bottom groovy, but that's yep. kind of close. Good shot. We're just discussing. That's got a stake in it. This one doesn't. And Richo's not in the water anyway. No. So, what do we got? Not much. Just well, you just got to flub it out. So, like I said, we had some rain. So, that's where we've come back from, like the green, or sorry, I lie, the tea. It's basically straight back down there, around to the right now, or the left, camera's right. The relax one. Mate, that's still not a bad effort. It's a, it's a putter, a chip, and an up and down for an easy bogey, but yeah. Yep. It runs away, the greens aren't that slow. Yeah, yeah, he, oh, I didn't want to be too... Well, you didn't want to be short, you didn't want to keep here. it back in the pot. No. Par three third hole coming up. This is one. That's one of my favourite par threes. If I had to put a par three, like I, maybe we should do that. A fantasy um, eighteen hole golf course yeah, for the course in Brisbane, yeah. you know, southeast Queensland. Yep. Because I reckon that's one of the par threes I'd put in. And then maybe even number seven at Pack Harbour for a short one with water. Breaking left to right.
Copped a few bubbles, but that's going to be alright, isn't it? Mate, it's not a bad effort. I might not, I might not lick me ball on sand and greens. Why not? Bit well, of, I mean, they've got fertiliser and stuff out, so... Bit of grit in your diet. Yep, nothing like that. Downhill, left to right, might be quick. Might be quicker, right? And wrong line. Bloody hell. Still moved a lot further than I thought it would. I didn't think it was moving that much at all. No. Oh well. Richo for bogey. Yeah, yep, yep. The one out of the bunker. So yes, again, we've had a bit of rain, so it's a few little wet spots, a few little low wet spots just there, some in the bunkers. Overall greens look good. Two or three weeks. Be really, really good out here. Like you said, mate, just don't throw in doubles. Yeah, yeah, you just bogeys need to... Are, bogeys are bogeys. Take your punishment. I didn't play a good iron shot. I was really happy with the two shot. The iron shot, I pushed it out to the right. But you know what? I got out of the bunker. And then, good two putt. That's the way you go. So, hole three. Par three. 158. 158. It's actually 170... Uh, oh, 168 to flag. 171 from back there. You can see the flag tucked in on the left side. On the left side. So I'm, and it's downhill, so I'm trying to play this about 160 uh, ish, 163, 4 with the 7 iron. Um, yeah. And the downhill might get it to high 160s. So it's just hit it in that opening in the middle of the green, really. Pretty well. That's all I want to do. Made some numbers on this hole, I tell you that. <laughs> Not good ones, I mean. That's right out of the choke. Shot. Good. Oh, Shot. starting off where I left off at Virginia. That's good. Yep. At the flag. A little cut off it. So you're basically 164 meters to here. So I suppose the difference in the T blocks, the one on the right actually pushes you more to the left, doesn't it? And yeah. left is not good. So this where it pushes you more towards the middle of the green, where it's a little bit more open. Uh, six iron. Yeah, I'm gonna go six iron. Like I said, one of my favorite part little pass rates. Even number bloody seven here is good as well. It's a long one though. So it's a miss hit. If that covers the bunker, mate, it hit the top of the bunker, I think. It just was a missed strike, wasn't it? If you hit that well, yeah. it, was, it was probably it was up. all right. Long part, but up. All right, guys. So we've come up from the no, nah. we're from up the top there. Rich is in the bunker. I'm actually over the back. I thought I was on, I thought I had a really good shot. Um, it is a bit damp in that bunker, Rich is out of the water. Sit down. That's a decent little effort. It's all downhill there. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Just keep rolling, mate. Alright, just off the green, mate. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was really good, but it turned out not. You coming? So even yours just oh it's held up, but it's yeah, just it's held there. up, just on the edge there. Go on, mate. Easy that, part. That's a Brett Rumford. Brett Rumsford done a really good technique. Anyway, I was really impressed by the way he he said his short game stuff. He, he and Brett pretty, Rumsford actually won the per six, so that was really yeah, good. Yes, played really well there too, didn't he? Yeah. So it was yeah. Brett Rumsford, check it out. Short game, brilliant. Bunkers and stuff is brilliant. Okay, so you can see I'm almost on the flat here and Richo's a couple of foot above me. Can't quite see the hole from here, but you can see the slopes in the green. So I could have hit it. 
Oh, uh, it's not too far away. Oh, alright, so Richo's there. He's about seven foot away more than I thought. He wasn't that close. He's probably just almost straight down here, maybe right edge. I think that's too far out. Oh, too far out. Too far in. Too far in, yeah. Well, there you go. Me wrong. Um, that Richo's could have got really unlucky, so he could have gone straight downhill down there where I was standing. Yeah. But anyway, so you can see all the slopes on the green. Three, there's a, there's a spot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's a spot up here, the pin, a spot yeah. down here, a spot here. There's like four spots, the good spots, and they all run, they all run. this way to, towards yeah. this side of the green. Cool. Was that? Is that three bogeys? Oh no, yeah, yeah three bogeys. Yep, three bogeys. Oh well. Beautiful. It's a tough. <laughs> it's an annoying golf course. It's very hard if you don't get it right. 